At the end of our last video, we touched on what the problem of getting a specific diagnosis and chasing it, and then like trying to use whatever it is that is, is uh, suggested to us to attack that pathogen. So getting a diagnosis of PANS plus Lyme and using all of the things to attack the Lyme or to attack the strep or to attack the mycoplasma or the mold or whatever it is that we have identified as the trigger. Um, it's enticing and I understand 100% why you wanna do that. The thing is, that's not gonna ultimately get you to your final goal. It'll help, I'm not gonna lie, it will help. But if your goal is to not have to worry about PANS, to put PANS behind you, just addressing a specific pathogen or a specific trigger is gonna keep you on a merry-go-round. And this concept that we're talking about that is, is really at the core of what helps people to get off of that merry-go-round is susceptibility. And this first was addressed in our Facebook group, which if you're not part of, we highly recommend that you join, but we understand not everybody wants to be on Facebook. So we're gonna do our best to explain it here. Um, the concept first came about when we would get questions repeatedly. What do I address first? It has this, 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 and this, because it's rarely one thing, right? We talked in our last video about what pans and pandas are and the difference between the two. The reality is, even if you identify one, so if somebody comes in with pandas, and which is identified with strep, invariably, they end up being sensitive to other infections and other things in their environment. So it really, it expands. Um, and so you'll see people who come in who have this, 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 and this, and people wanna know, what do we address first? And that's in the mindset of conventional medicine or even functional medicine where we're trying to attack and kill and suppress, attack, kill and suppress. And so the reality is the, the bug is not the problem. The strep is not the problem. The Lyme is not the problem. The problem is that you are susceptible to having this specific response. If the bug itself was the problem, everybody who got strep would have these symptoms everybody who got Lyme would have this presentation that you or your child is experiencing. I had mycoplasma as a kid and I ended up getting pan symptoms. Um, I had some cognitive regression. I had um, changes in my behavior and in my mood. I had some urinary issues come up. I had all a lot of the things really that um, are associated. I had some OCD and some nighttime fears, some anxiety. Um, that happened when I was eight, when I was a kid and I got mycoplasma. When I had recovered with homeopathy and I was um, got mycoplasma again when I was in my late 30s, I got pneumonia and that's it because I was no longer susceptible to having the PANS type, the neuropsychiatric re uh, symptoms as a result of this exposure to the bug. So the bug is not the problem. The mold is not the problem. It's the reaction to it that is the problem. It's the susceptibility to this type of response. And that's what we have to address to get off of the medication and supplement merry-go-round. Jody, I'm gonna turn it over to you because I know that this was like a, a big light bulb for you and, it, and you didn't even have this light bulb until you'd already had gone through a significant portion of healing with homeopathy, but you said that it was really profound for you and it's kind of stuck. Yeah, I think that this is like, I always get loud when we talk about susceptibility because this is like <laughs> it. This is the thing the like the light bulb moment for me that finally made me understand everywhere I had been, where I was at the moment and where I was going. Um, you know, getting started on the PANS journey, you know, we, we started doing all of the things, um, the antibiotics, the, the different treatments in mainstream medical, and they would help, but then, Avery symptoms would come back and then, okay, what's the next antibiotic? And I really kind of made myself crazy chasing the infections. Is it mycoplasma? Is it strep? Is it, and it was constant. And, you know, as soon as we would be done with one, we would go into the other and each time Avery symptoms would come back a little bit worse, a little bit worse, a little bit worse. Um, same thing in functional medicine. We, you know, we did, you know, all the supplementation and everything couple of things that helped a tiny bit, but nowhere near the quality of life that I wanted for her. Um, and even doing IVIG, um, I was like, oh yes, like IVIG is the ticket. Like that's going to be the thing. Cause that's like the big guns um, did that. And it, it did not work out well for her at all. I spent so much time trying to figure out 
why I was doing the treatments, but she wasn't getting better. She kept getting sick over and over again. And so once I got into homeopathy and I started to understand healing and actually fixing that root problem, which was her immune system that kept going into this misguided response every time she would get a virus or she was exposed to mold or she would lose a tooth or with full moons, all of the things that trigger our kids. Um, you know, understanding the fact that until I started to address the reason why she was getting triggered by healing her body, that she was going to be stuck in the symptom cycle because those things were just suppressing symptoms for a short time. Um, it's, it's really getting in there, healing that root problem, going through this healing journey in order to change her susceptibility and what that looks like today with her being recovered is, um, you know, she can go through strep, she can go through um, COVID, she can go through, uh, you know, a mold exposure a while back, losing a tooth, all of those things can happen to her now and have happened to her without her regressing back into pans and panda symptoms because her immune system is now working appropriately. It's doing the right thing. She gets sick and has symptoms for a couple of days and then she's well again. Um, her immune system doesn't get wild and crazy because it, it's been healed. Um, I, I love, I spent an entire year trying to figure out why and susceptibility was why, um, you know, mm -hmm changing the way that her body was responding to things by healing the immune system was the missing puzzle piece for for me and i think it's a missing puzzle piece for so many families that are still trying to you know figure out it's just um it's it's uh, healing is a new concept to a lot of us um again something else we'll talk about more in in videos to come um, but it's it's just a, a different way. We we haven't really learned about this before. Um, a lot of it's brand new to us. Um, so I think susceptibility is fantastic. Um, if you it took me a, lo a long while to get it, like six seven months into homeopathic treatment. Um, so if it's something that you still don't understand, like Dr. Barr said, go and watch those videos and watch them a couple of times if you need to until it that makes a little bit more sense because I, I think it'll help you put some of your puzzles or some of your puzzle together too. So susceptibility will help you understand why you can live in a house and your kid who has pans or symptoms that make you think that they might have pans, that your kid is the only one who has the reaction to being in your house or going to grandma's house or wherever, and that you're not having a reaction to it, even though you can smell that there's mold or something like that. It's the reason that we have one family member who's got it and nobody else who does um, because they happen to have that susceptibility to it. It's also why people who are um, not genetically related can, they just happen to have a similar susceptibility and they, they can have the same symptoms or similar symptoms as well. Um, so we definitely work with all spectrums of people. We see identical twins where one has pans and one doesn't because one has susceptibility and the other one doesn't. So it's not just genetic. We definitely see families where all of the fam all the children are adopted and they all have it. So it's not clearly um, only genetic, right? So like it, it, it's, it can be environmental, it can be genetic, it can be, you know, all sorts of things that contribute to it. Um, but ultimately what it comes down to, whether you try to, to describe all of these things, they all contribute to that underlying factor, which is susceptibility. And the only thing that addresses susceptibility is homeopathy. And we're gonna to talk to you more about what homeopathy is in the rest of the videos. We've got three more for you um, to make sure you really understand what homeopathy is, what the homeopathic medicines and remedies are, and then what the healing journey with homeopathy looks like. But we wanted to make sure you really understood this concept because when you address susceptibility, using the one thing that can actually address that, which is homeopathy, you can recover. So this is where, like Jody was saying, her daughters had strep, her daughters had mold exposure. Jody didn't know that her that she had mold exposure because her kiddo was doing worse. Jody knew she had mold exposure because Jody was doing worse. Um, which is amazing to see that like you were the one who was was able to identify it because your kid is doing so much better than you and has mm -hmm. so much less susceptibility now. Whereas before you knew if you walked into a moldy building, not because you could but because of what was going on with your kiddo, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
So when we address susceptibility, that's when we can get off of the medication and the supplement merry-go-round. That's where we address all of the things that are going on internally, including genetic SNPs and detoxification pathways and methylation pathways. We address this, those susceptibilities by helping heal with homeopathy. And what we get to at that point is we actually don't, we don't need it forever. So it is a healing therapy, not something that is identifying supplements that you're going to need for the long haul. Um, and I think that's what most people are really hoping for when they're actually looking for health and healing. Like we think that we're going to get that with other, other therapies. And then we find out, oh, I'm just going to need this forever. And, it, and it, it's, it's a different type of life sentence, right? Um, yeah. With homeopathy. And when we actually address the susceptibility, we actually get uh, out of that life sentence and we can get our lives back. So uh, in our next video, we're going to talk to you all about what homeopathy is, because it's probably a new word to many people, or if it's not a new word, it's probably a word that has a lot of confusion around it. We want to help clear up that confusion for you. So we'll see you on the next video.